Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review and today we have from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Darth Revan, which just arrived today and I'm very happy that I could get one of these because I missed the first window, uh, so they restocked, whatever you say that, and I was able to get one, only one sadly, I mean I'll try to get another one if it gets uh, in stock again because I want to keep one carded, uh, but this card is a bit... I mean, it's not in perfect shape, so but it's uh, it's in good shape. It's okay, but uh, I will just open this because I need to have one loose at least, you know. And yeah, and because we need to check the figure. And there you have the Knights of the Old Republic logo there. I think it's the first time we have this actual logo there, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, because the Bastila Shan from back in the day. I think it had extended universe on it and not this uh, actual logo. So there you have a very nice, or very nice, very cool artwork of Darth Revan there. I think it's like a render or digital painting actually, uh, holding his red lightsaber. Only that one. He he always has the the purple one too as well. Uh, I'm much looking forward to get the the hero journey or what was the name the the exclusive one from. Polscon, whatever uh, con it was, the 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 white the Jedi version, you know Jedi Revan with the droid. Um, there you have the bio. You can read it now. It's in the old vintage collection carback style, and I really like having this carback st uh, style again. Uh, again, if you want to read the bio, pause it now and read it. Legal stuff, no uh, cross sale, you know. Uh, anything uh, we can only see. Dark Raven there, but I'm fine with it. Let's take this guy out of there and see how good he actually is. And there you have the Dark Raven figure out of the packaging, and I must say this is a great figure. It's not a, you know, it's vintage collection, it's a small scale, uh, well, the original scale, but it's uh, the tiny scale. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's a great figure, but it's not perfect, and we'll talk about it all, you know, uh, but I mean, aesthetically, I really, I, I love the figure, you know, and I'm so glad we have this uh, character in the super articulated vintage collection line. Um, as you can see, he comes with his two lightsabers. We said that already when we were checking the packaging. I'm just taking them off. You have a red one. Here you have it, the red lightsaber. There you have the hilt. Let me actually focus there. And I think it's looking okay, you know, I mean, it has some detail, it's saturating the camera. But in any in case, you can see just red plastic. It's not as translucent, this one, as some other releases, but it's good. And here you have the purple one, which in my opinion is a cooler one of the two lightsabers. There you can see that hilt, which is exclusive to Revan. And yeah, I mean, it's looking cool, and the blade, I mean, purple lightsabers are always great. I love Mace Windu, and I love Revan, because of, not only because of their lightsabers, but I mean, that's a really cool standout uh, thing of them. And there you have the figure, I mean, just check at that helmet sculpt, the hood there, which actually is removable, and we'll check that in a moment. I mean, we, you can see that in the promo pictures already, but... Uh, the how the soft goods are two different materials. You can see this one is a bit br uh, it reflects a lot of light, and this one is more matte. The skirt and the cape is uh, yeah, uh, but I like the tattered effect here. I have the feeling that I have an extra little piece of cloth still. I'll leave it there. I like it having that little floaty piece there, um, and the skirt is uh, more like it looks almost like cotton, you know. But this one is very glossy. Uh, you can see the paint in this copy is nicely applied. You see you have the like coppery tone for the metallic uh, part of the chest armor and below his belt here and also the bracelets here and the hand guards and also the let's actually we'll check the, the sheens here. The sheen armor for the legs is very nicely done as well as the foot armor, I mean, because there's no boots, it's just like extra bits attached to his uh, legs and all of that. The actual upper part of the legs is just like 
cloth, uh, like, you know, like trousers. Uh, and you can see he has also all the detail in the back. They didn't save a uh, paint there. It's all printed, I mean, painted on, and it's uh, really, really good looking. The back of the legs is just straps, and those are not painted. I don't know if they should be. They're just black, uh, cast in the black plastic. Now, if you push here a bit to the front, you can remove the hood. And yeah, we have a Revan figure without the hood, which actually I really like having the the option. I mean, because we know that if you collect Black Series as well, I think the Revan figure for, uh, is one of the coolest releases of the whole line as well, but there you cannot remove the hood. And the cape is also removable, the head is on a dumbbell joint, so if you pop the head off, I won't do it now, uh, just because, uh, but if you do, you will be able to remove the cape and you can see it has this huge hole here in the back. I don't know if that was the only way to do it. So it has a very long peg which attaches kind of at this height. I think the waist is just a fixed piece and the the whole movement here is just on the ball peg. And that's the part which I don't like that the, his diaphragm movement is very limited. The peg goes very deep and it has very little clearance. I don't know if that was the best solution. That's the way they did it. I mean, the figure looks great, but I have the feeling there was better solutions for that peg situation. Again, I wasn't able to unattach it, and I think I almost bro broke the figure, I don't know. But uh, it was all under the effect of the hot water, so it was all flexible. So I was prying and pulling, and I w didn't manage to take the figure apart, and I was like, okay, leave it there. You can see it has like... A I mean, the twisting there is uh, ratcheted, and it's nice, so you decide if you want to do that. I don't feel like I'm forcing things. I did already forced things when I was checking that. I wanted to put the figure apart, and I wasn't able to. So I hope I didn't permanently damage that peg, and I hope I can get one or two more copies of this figure, because one, I love the character, and two... Uh, just uh, want to keep the uh, ink card and another one just for in case I damage this one. I don't know. Uh, the arms, they can lift that far. So this guy has much more range than many larger figures from the 6 inch scale. I mean, he can do that. He has no butterflies. And I one thing I noticed also the peg from the the arms to the torso. You have to be careful how you move the the shoulder i mean the arm because it's a bit floating there you know and you can bend that peg that goes into the torso and of course you don't want to damage that one so be make sure that you hold the things close to the moving parts so that you don't overstretch you know and pry things too much uh, the elbows are single jointed there you can see they bend up to 90 that I would like that to be to have a bit more range, you know, but they bend 90 degrees exactly I would say uh, the arms of course can go all the way around uh, I mean yes, he has this uh, kind of oh, Shoulder armor here or pads whatever so those get in the way a little bit But uh, you will be able to, to turn the arm it will go a bit outside, you know a, a bit yeah outwards but it's it's fine both hands have vertical swivels so that's great for his uh, wielding action they swivel also all the way around the head i skipped that one can move all the way i mean it has all the range here i mean a nice amount of range not all but and again the vintage collection doing dumbbell joints better than almost every or maybe every other hasbro line you know the the larger figures and these smaller ones they manage to do better neck articulation just saying i mean i'm praising them and it's also hasbro and hasbro does it well here and they don't do it right in the larger scale for whatever reason i don't know in my opinion it should be easier because you have more plastic more maybe it's just the same you know it's just a scaled situation in any case the legs are of course hindered by the you know the skirt here so that's uh, that could be annoying it's a bit annoying I mean because you want to but I mean you have the skirt there I mean it's it just happens to be there I maybe would prefer to have this skirt being a bit like the 
Black Series ones, uh, one which is all like creased and it looks more ruffled and it has a bit uh, more stretch. This one, it stretches just a little bit, but it's uh, yeah almost fixed. So that uh, hinders the possibility. But I mean, you don't have to have this guy doing martial arts, even if, of course, I would like having the option. Let's check this thing before we go to the rest of the legs. If you bring this thing back on the, the hood, you can see you can still move the head around. Of course, it will limit the movement up and down, but hey, it's it's all for the aesthetics. But good good thing is, you just can remove it and you can pose the figure also without the hood, and it, nothing is glued and it's uh, let's say it's legal. Uh, the legs are in you know the regular T joint uh, hips, so like like the O ring Joes from back in the day, like like almost every other figure, let's say. Um, so not the old uh, style of vintage collection that I never really enjoyed. Uh, I like the figures, but I never liked those vertical hips, you know, the, the joint going upwards in the body and you having to maneuver all sorts of things to be able to move the legs. If they have a thigh swivel, yeah, but it's well, it was a bit stiff. It can go all the way around. The knees are single jointed can bend up to almost or maybe oh, let's say 90 degrees but it's not even 90 it's almost 90 uh, the feet can go backwards that far and forwards that far so that's good and they have a decent a really good ankle rocker for the scale i mean now for size comparisons there you have the vintage collection dart Revan next to a dark trooper a Sokatano an arbiter from World of Halo, from Jazzwares, and this uh, Black Series, the small scale from back in the day, Mara Jade. Next to the Old Republic, Shea Vizsla, an Old Republic, uh, Republic Commando, Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan show, a Stormtrooper, and Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. And that's it for this review. I think this Darth Raven figure is amazing. You can see he has a good size. He's not taller than Vader, but he's... Uh, also not a small character by any means he has a good uh, height and there you can decide i mean i think if you're collecting the vintage collection you just need to have this figure even if you don't know if you didn't play the game but it's a uh, character design i've been always like wow this guy just looks cool and that's sometimes everything you need and there you can see just because I, before i forget there you have the black series version of Darth raven which is also a great figure. I mean, I think that was the first Black Series figure I bought back like uh, seven, eight years ago. I don't know. Uh, when it came out, I was like, I need that thing, even if I wasn't yet collecting the line. Anyway, um, yeah, great figure, Darth Raven. I mean, it's just a super cool looking Sith. In my opinion, one of the coolest designs in whole Star Wars. You know, you have the you know, Boba Fett and Derivate Mandalorian armor designs. You have, of course, Darth Vader. And in my opinion, Darth Revan is also, I mean, the Stormtroopers and clones, of course. And Darth Revan is also top three or top five for me of the uh, whole uh, Star Wars designs. You know, the Darth Trooper is also a really cool design. Anyway, please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.